Welcome to Garden Wise Adventures. My name is Malie and we just finished a video where I harvested the garlic out of this bed. And now we're going to prepare this bed to plant cucumbers. It's getting really late in the day and I want to be able to have my bed kind of sit after I amend it. So I think this video is going to cover a span of several days. We're going to amend it right now, water it in, get it all ready for the cucumbers, let it sit for a little while to get settled, and then we'll plant the cucumbers in a day or two. So let me show you what we're gonna to do to amend this bed first. Now this is what the bed looks like post garlic harvest. There's a lot of frass in here. There's some old grass that we used, well grass and leaves that we used to mulch the bed. So I'm gonna take my irrigation and fold it back so that I can kind of fork some of this stuff into the soil so it can start decomposing. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to throw a tiny bit of compost over the top of that bed. We're not going to cover it very deeply. We amended it pretty heavily last fall, but I did want to add a little bit of extra compost. And let me show you where I got this. These are my compost beds. And I'm going to link a video at the top that shows you what they looked like last fall. When the fall leaves uh, fall, this is when I build my compost. I don't generally touch it more than twice because I go for simplicity. The first time that I touch it is when I build the beds in the fall. The second time I touch it is only every once in a while when I decide to combine the middle bed with this bed over here and leave an open bed. Uh, as you can see, the compost is mostly done. What I did is I used my homemade sifter and my shovel and sifted out the finished compost. So let's go put that on my bed. Now the next thing that we're going to do is add an all-purpose fertilizer. Now I normally would prefer to add blood meal because we have plenty of phosphorus and potassium in this bed, but you know this is all I have right now so this is what we're going to add. Now we'll water it in and be back when it's time to plant. We'll see you in a few days. We are back and ready to plant our cucumbers and here they are. Now I generally start my cucumbers in pots because if I start them in the garden with seeds, then the quail come by and eat all the little seedlings. You know, I have not been able to grow any cucumbers unless I've started them in pots. Now I only grow one variety and this is my very favorite for both pickles and fresh eating. And this is market more. Now market more cucumbers, I have only one time in the probably 15 years that I've grown them ever have them be bitter. And I think that was a year that I really was infrequent with my watering. But they are amazing cucumbers, so let's get planting. Now we're gonna plant seven cucumbers this year. And I always plant them in tomato cages. That kind of keeps them off the ground. I don't have another place to grow them where they can climb up any other supports. Maybe eventually I'll find a permanent place or find a way to build supports where it's not permanent that I can move it year to year. But the tomato cages have worked absolutely brilliantly so far. So that's what, the way we're gonna do them this year. Now, I also usually plant six to seven cucumber plants and most of them go to pickling and I absolutely love the pickles that these make. Now, we've shown you different ways of planting, so we're just gonna plant them up. Now with cucumbers, I don't plant them any deeper than they were in the pot. They do not root along the stem like tomatoes, so we're just going to plant them the same depth. Now we'll water them in really well, because these are hot days. But these have been grown outside. They were started outside in pots, so they're used to the sun. And there we have it. All our little cucumbers are planted. They're watered in. And I will keep an eye on the watering on these for the next several days. 
The one thing cucumbers cannot tolerate very well is uneven watering. They need to stay moist and they need to stay watered regularly, otherwise they get bitter. Now the other things that I'll need to watch is I need to watch for bug infestations and I need to make sure I harvest the cucumbers regularly because if you let a cucumber get too large and start to ripen too much, it will stop the production on the entire plant. Now I usually only harvest until I have enough for all the pickles that I want, which is usually about 36 quarts because that's what my kids love to eat. And then I let them go. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you enjoy my videos and they are helpful to you, please like, subscribe, share them with your friends so I can make more videos and have a wonderful garden adventure.